Hyacinth Naylor can now hug her granddaughter as part of her support bubble. But lockdown wasn't the first time that she was left without her after becoming a victim of the Windrush scandal. Hyacinth grew up in Chorley in Manchester after moving to the UK at the age of 10. I never had a problem. Um, then I went on two weeks holiday uh, and couldn't come back. In her youth, she travelled the world as part of a singing group, was a model employee, but in 2013 went on holiday to Tobago that ended with a six-month battle with immigration. Sister, what do you mean I've just come two weeks ago? And she says, prove it. <laughs> Can you imagine being told things like that, really? It is a complete and utter scandal. I've lived here all my life, I've worked for most 16, and suddenly I went on holiday and I was just like, we don't know you. Have you had an apology? Up to now, I've had nothing from no one. The Empire Windrush brings to Britain 500 Jamaicans. Many are ex-servicemen who know England. They serve this country well. Today marks 72 years since that day when Jamaicans were invited to fill the labour gaps following the Second World War. We did not come to this country by force. We were invited to come to Britain. At the end of the day, when you should have been, say, even got a thank you, then you got, you're no good to us anymore, so we will get rid of you. The Ruddocks didn't face an immigration challenge, but work wasn't always easy to come by. We've been far and near and far to get a job, and as you walk and approach it, no job, no vacants, but because of the colour of your skin, they don't want to know. celebration service should have been held at this church but even religious buildings were controversial spaces once. And like many people who came up during that time and went to white churches who were told of the service, glad to see you but please don't come back. It's a way of celebrating those people who are still alive, even those people who have gone on and to say thank you for, for what did they, we still remember you, we still appreciate what you've done, and for the kids today, both black and white, to, to learn about the history of that generation. As well as remembering the past, there's a call for reparations to be made. A compensation scheme was set up by the government in the wake of the scandal, but is yet to reach many of those affected. Today, an online event was held to discuss the impact it's still having now. There are still people who, because they haven't uh, secured their status, they're, not, they're unable to work. Their children are not able co to go to university. Um, they're, they're suffering a lot of stress and ill health. It's a scandal within a scandal. A small Windrush walk was held in Manchester over the weekend, but given the controversy, can it ever really be celebrated? Perhaps this is the moment, you know, all the campaign and, and many people will see from Black Lives Matter, the whole world is woken up to this realisation that there's lots of ignorance. You know, migration has made a real significant contribution to the United Kingdom. Let's celebrate that together. The Windrush is a journey that started decades ago, but for many of the descendants, it's one they're still on today. Sarah Rogers, ITV News in Manchester.